Hello guys, I feel like I haven't actually started the vlog. It's been a couple of kind of mentally rough days, so I don't know if I've actually filmed anything. I'll start the vlog now, but I'm actually gonna start it with a unboxing. So I don't know if you know from last year, I kind of treat myself to one beauty calendar per year or I'm trying to, um, but I do it more in a way to like stock up on goods because it gives you a good deal if you research prior. So there were spreadsheets involved, so by no means is anything inside a surprise for me because I honestly compared pretty much every cal calendar out there, ranking items in scores of how useful and how much I would actually buy it and whether the value is there for me or not. Well, actually, the another one won, but it was sold out, so I couldn't get it. This one was the winner of the ones that I could get. I didn't really feel like making a separate video for it. Um, but if you're not interested in this part whatsoever, I will leave the stamp somewhere here uh, where you can just like fast forward. Yeah, this arrived today and I thought I'm gonna like open it, even though I'm not gonna do like a proper video on it, I thought I'm gonna open it here just for the funsies, just to showcase because I'm actually gonna be reusing this to uh, build my own um, calendar for Logan. It's honestly a Ravenclaw's dream. I'm not gonna even joke about it, like look how pretty. And doesn't that just fit my whole aesthetic in general? <sighs> Honestly, because I looked at so many, it's all jumbled in my brain, so it's still gonna be fun to open. But I love that these are not boxes, these are like drawers. Okay, so it is 79 pounds, and honestly, there is a cream inside here that's like 80 something, I think. Pretty much the same value as this, so you already kinda get your value in there but the overall value they claim is and the value inside is 420 so day number one which is actually here um so you actually get like a card with each of the item to tell you a little bit about it and day number one is a 9a morphe palette so this is like a neutrals and those are the colors um there are three shimmers six matte uh, with Morphe for me is kind of like hit or miss, but I think they're neutral. They have like their neutrals down Number two is a living proof perfect hair five-in-one styling treat. I think this is like a, Like a heat protector conditioner type of situation number three So this is remember how to pronounce it. clear skin purifying toner. I actually love toners toner is one of my favorite like skincare part which is a bit random this is again like a deluxe size but like enough of a toner then there's number four in which we get two uh lexi brushes i do enjoy lexi brushes but i particularly enjoy that we got like a smaller one sometimes when i used to get the boxes way way back in like 2016 or 15 um, they used to include those like weird shapes that no one ever uses because I assume they have a lot of stock of those so I really like that we get like a usable um, This is perfect for like under eye and this is for like a little crease action for people with hooded eyelids like myself number five This is this is the cream I was talking about Actually, let me double check how much it goes for 85 pounds so already more expensive than the actual calendar um, and a big reason of why I got this is this Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This is a full size, which is 30 mils, I think. Yeah, 30 mils. So pumped to actually try this. I've never tried it before. Smells nice. Really nice texture. I mean, for that price, you'd expect. So this better work bloody miracles. This calendar in general is a little bit like skincare heavy, but I actually enjoy the skincare parts probably more than the makeup parts. A lip pen spoiler, I suppose. There is a liquid lipstick inside that matches this color. One thing I liked about this as well, that they did uh, nudes rather than uh, really bright reds because there is a particular type of red that I wear otherwise it really does not fit my face so for them to go with like neutrals is actually I actually really um, appreciate that so this is the type of color that this is seven where are you there. Uh, the ritual of Ayur Ayurveda dry oil oh oh I actually love the smell it's like a cookie but like healthy cookie. <laughs> I love that. This is the half size, so basically a deluxe. Uh, full size is basically 20 quid, so this is like a tenner. Eight, I think? Ah, yes, it's a Philip Kingsley elasticizer. 
adds elasticity and bounce. Uh, so this is a deep conditioning treatment for your hair. Oh, before shampooing thoroughly with your hair and applying sections, work into hair with fingertips, cover with a shower cap and leave for 10, 20 minutes. The longer the better. Girl, you think I have a shower cap? Not the most exciting of the items, but we shall give it a go at some point. Nine. Uh, we have a product from Oskia. This is a Renaissance cleansing gel. Are we on 10? Ooh, I'm so excited to try this. Okay, so this is a First Aid Beauty, which is a brand that's actually not that easy to get in UK. So this is uh, 28 pads. The full size is... 60 and that one's 25 and oh, I'm just so excited. I think I had one of their creams before I think it was maybe a hand cream and I really enjoyed it. This is something that I'm super excited to actually try out 11. Okay, so we then have a really expensive product again. This is Avant uh, Moisture Surge Overnight Treatment. I actually tried Avant before. I think also a night but night cream i think it was it wasn't like a black tub probably never buy it myself because of the price so this is actually a full size just different packaging so the packaging is usually like fancier but it's 85 pounds for 50 mils so it's definitely on basically same level as this and this is an overnight cream which really excites me because like who doesn't all like that really happy that this is a full size even if it's repackaged so it feels like less fancy but obviously they had to fit into that 12 we have throat cream so this is by brand i've not heard before looks like this if you're interested it feels super light so this is definitely a deluxe um throat cream so basically for your neck 13 I actually enjoy that we get cards with this because it tells you a little bit about it so you don't actually have to google everything uh, but this is a lord and berry um coal eyeliner let me check how Ooh, this is super buttery i don't know if you can see me do that but it's like i'm so light with it oh that's the liquid lip from a brand mellow doesn't have any scent or anything but i really like that color it's very much similar to the ones that i wear so we'll definitely be using this unless it's like not very comfortable on the lips in the long term but it looks pretty creamy 15. oh this is the dragon's blood lip mask apparently these are pretty pricey as well i probably would never buy a separate like um lip mask per se anything that's plumping kind of scares me because i don't like that tingling sensation the plumping products give but might try this out at some point. Where is 16? Ah. I've been so excited to sniff this because everyone says how lovely it smells. So we got ourselves a little molten brown fairy pink pepper bath and shower gel. I'm super excited to sniff it. Better be good. Oh my god. Okay, I get it. I didn't definitely smell pepper and it's such a... I want to say musculine. Musculine scent. Oh. That is gorgeous. Let's do 17. EH Moisture Boost Vitamin C Cream. It reduces area of dark pigmentation, areas of high color. This is a Wild Rose Hand Cream. This one I'm a little bit afraid, I'm not gonna like. Because it really depends with rose for me. Because it depends on what they mix it with. Because rose in itself is not always my favorite scent. Oh. Mmm. Nope, not a fan. Good thing is, though, that my mom will be a fan. And she is actually visiting me um, in a couple of weeks now. So this is definitely not gonna go to waste. And the woman loves her hand creams, so... 19. Oh, this is the tiny, tiny serum. It's actually super expensive. I think this is half or a third of the full size. I think this was 5 mils. Someone said that. And the full size is 15 mils. And the full size of 15 mils is 125 pounds. Which is insane. And then probably never use it again. <laughs> but I am very excited to try it. And it is serum and it's obviously oil. So it's not gonna run out super fast one two number 20 is the ico um mascara i never tried ico mascara but i've had like quite a couple of their um so it looks like interesting interesting bent i don't know if you can see it's very bent some people really like this i'm very skeptical because 
I I really dislike their eyeliners, but I'm, I'll obviously will try it. One here, one. And then we have a eyebrow pencil um, by brand Lila. This is a risky choice as everybody has different eyebrow colors. Like an eyebrow pen on one side is actually fairly nice. And it is a color that will fit most people. It's just an interesting choice. A spoolie on the other side, which is nice. I hate eyebrow pencils without a spoolie. It's like, why even bother? 22. Oh yeah, bath product. So this is a bubble tea and look, look fantastic. I think it's like an exclusive fizzers and it's in salted caramel. Mm. Actually, it doesn't smell much like salted caramel. It smells more like fruity candy. 23. We have Philorgia, Philorga, Phalange, <laughs> Meso Mask, uh, Smoothing Radiance Mask for. It's gonna be. This is gonna be the Sleek one. Now, Sleek is not the brand that I love, but people who use this one really seem to have liked it. Sleek is a very affordable brand as well. Um, okay, so we have one cream. No one uses these, let's be honest. So one cream highlight. Obviously you cannot see anything in the slide, so that's great. <laughs> it's actually pretty subtle and nice. Then you have like a, a pinkish one. Can you see anything there? A yellow one and like an orangey one. But they're all pretty wearable. You can kind of see them there. I actually like the cream one, which is insane because I never use cream um, face stuff other than obviously my foundation. <laughs> okay, and up to 25. I'm super excited for this product. Hmm, okay. Mine's missing a lid. Weird. It does seem heavy, so I'm hoping it's still like full. It must have fallen off during like the wrapping process, but how upsetting. Not very. Obviously, we all have bigger problems. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm really excited to use it because like the mist looked so amazing. So this is basically a rejuvenating face mist. So you can use it as a post cleanser, cleanse toner, um, or as revitalizing daily spritz. So basically, you can spritz it. I'm super excited because it looked so good. Okay, that actually felt. I really like the mist. I don't know if you can see it, but. Eh. <laughs> cool so yeah you get a lot of stuff um definitely worth the money if it's something that you would use um but i'm gonna go and put everything away and then um i'm gonna call it an, a day probably i have a big big headache so that's not great but i wanted to open all of this because i also as i said i'm out of creams obviously not anymore <laughs> but like i was out of creams so i kind of wanted to take it out but i also share with you guys so i'm gonna do that and then try some of this because I'm very excited to do that. Watch me break out now because I'll, I'll try multiple things and then I won't know which ones broke me out, but <laughs> probably not. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited to like fill this in with for Logan as well. It'll be cute. Hey. Hello, boy. Hey, guys. From yesterday evening to today, I've just been in the most um, depressive mood. I just can't get this fog out of my head and it's so hard to get out of bed and also I'm struggling so much to focus but I really want to turn this around because I feel very very low and obviously I don't like it and I just really don't I can't afford to go there um, because of my mental health reason I just can't afford to go there not that you can always obviously control it, but I need to try and do everything I can to get out of that. So I'm just gonna trudge along and hopefully feel a tiny bit better by lunchtime and then pull myself together, you know, have a shower, um, do my makeup. It's all superficial things, but I want to film a video, I want to upload a video today, so I want to work on that. And if I need to fake it till I make it, then I'll try and fake it till I make it. Um, hopefully it goes okay. I just feel really miserable, hopeless, so tired. Anyway, yeah, so today is gonna be a day of me trying to build myself back up. As an incentive to myself, as a promise to myself, I want to like film 
or at least mention the little things that I'm gonna do throughout the day so I don't just not do it. <laughs> so this is basically for my own benefit, but hopefully some of you guys will find it useful as well. I gotta go try and work, I can't focus whatsoever, like it's weird because most of the time no matter what's happening I can still focus on work and today is just like... Okay, so feeling a little bit better. Not great, but better. And I want to put myself in like just completely block everything out and make a, like, a film a video. Go into my happy place, focus on that video alone and nothing else and just see if that helps because sometimes it really does but i actually used a couple of things from the calendar so it was really fun because i kind of have like my go-to things and i rarely swap anything up other than like my lip color but it's still like the same cal uh, palettes and stuff so this was actually really fun to just like experiment with i used both the lip liner and the uh, liquid lipstick and i put a tiny bit not that you can really see, <laughs> but I put a tiny bit of Fifth Avenue from Soap and Glory in the middle just to lighten a tiny bit up because I thought it was just a tiny bit too dark for me, but like it's fine. I used the mist before and after <laughs> I put my makeup on because I just like it so much. Um, it's just it's such a nice spritzer. It's just great. I also used the Sleek palette here like the cream one and I never use the cream one. So I actually do really like it. I just think it's, it has like a pink undertone more than in the palette. So it doesn't really go with my look of like autumn look at all today, but it's not not bad. And then I put a little bit of the orange on top. I actually do like it, but I think I think I just doesn't really match <laughs> my vibe. And then my eyes are entirely done with the Morphe palette. And I actually have to say I like the Morphe stuff in this palette more than the collaboration Morphe ones that I have. So there was a lot of new things that I was trying, so actually that made it a bit less painful to do because I'm not always in the mood to do makeup. I like it when it's done. Sometimes I like doing it, but I think mainly if I'm trying things out, I get bored fairly easily. <laughs> now I just have to go and put some dry shampoo in my hair and pretend that I am not a greasy mess. I'm just finishing up work, um, but during my lunch break I did end up filming two videos and it was so lovely to just get out of my head and just like focus on that because when I film I kind of, well, the, the, the tricky part for me is to get ready for filming. That I very often fail to do, so that's why I don't always film. But then when I get to filming, when I'm all, like all ready and in front of a camera, I just zone out of my all like life, health, problems, relationships, everything that's going on, I just zone out of it. It's literally like its own form of therapy. Um, so I feel quite a bit better. I'm not gonna say that I feel amazing. <laughs> I don't think, I think that ship kind of sailed for today, but I don't feel like on the verge of tears. <laughs> um, made myself yogurt with bananas. Wow, much culinary skills here, I know. I thought it would be nice to eat something that's not 100% shite. I'm gonna edit the video. Don't know, for the rest of the day, I'm not, not entirely certain, but oh, actually I'm gonna go ahead and put a wash on. That will make me feel a bit more put together. Still needs to clean the room, maybe that's what I'm gonna do later on as well. Um, I actually just spent a good amount of time um, converting a part of my uh, thank you card design in the way that they can print it. I don't, I, I don't actually know if I mentioned this. Oh, Zeus almost fell off the table. Um, oh yeah, Zeus completely like started chewing on the cactus that I have, which by the way, the cactus was on this table since I moved in here. So, well not since I moved in here, since I got the other plant. So like for at least like five to six months. And he never actually tried to chew it, which was very surprising for me, but I wasn't complaining. Got to chew the other one and stuff. But to like this week he realized it's a real plant. <laughs> I don't know why, only now. But it, like I came back today and there's like two bits that completely chewed off. But yeah, I don't know if I mentioned, um, one thing I'm super excited about and I'm really hoping that my health's not gonna get into the way of me doing stuff towards that too much. Going back to Etsy and rebranding, because obviously I stopped doing candles, mainly for my migraine control. I loved making candles and I took many precautions while, while making candles, but making candles is different than burning candles. Uh, you're working with chemicals and even though I was trying to use masks, very uncomfortable as well. And I am not in a place that's well ventilated other than opening the windows and the kitchen here does not even do that. <laughs> like, I can't open the window in the kitchen here. And because my migraines were so bad, that was just like 
on the back mind of like maybe at some point I'll go back to it but I've decided to not do that especially since my migraines are actually much rarer now I'm just not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna do anything to mess with that but that's not a thing anymore so burning fiction I thought should have a name change because if you're not selling candles burning fiction just kind of sounds like I have like a hobby as an arsonist like an arsonist on the side <laughs> which I'm not by the way just throwing that out there and because I really wanted to take it in like a different direction I've come up with the Moonlight Library. I really love the name. I love it because obviously I'm obsessed with moons and I still wanted to make it sort of like a bookish thing or to a nod at the bookish thing because it's not gonna only be bookish. Um, so library with plus, you can check stuff out out of the library so it's like getting stuff for yourself. I don't know, it just kind of worked for me. I really love it. And I'm, for the first time ever, I'm actually designing uh, thank you cards because I always wanted to put them in I always wanted a thank you card and obviously it's an expense that's other than making your like business look like le more legit and stuff but like you know I never really had it but I wanted to make one but I didn't want it just like I knew what I want on it <laughs> um, and I want to make it foiled so there's like a bunch of stuff that like did not fit with their files and stuff so they made me learn a new program and <laughs> basically you have to vectorize stuff and anyway um, but I'm so excited uh, that should be here with me hopefully at the end of the month i haven't heard back from them today so i'm assuming the files are okay at the moment and they're going forward with it i'm so excited if like it's nothing super special but i think it should look so cool but i'm gonna show you guys because why not this is the front of the card so these bits where is it oh these bits are supposed to be gold foil so it's gonna be all shimmery i'm so excited obviously this is gonna be much smaller though <laughs> And probably even smaller than that, maybe a bit bigger than that, but like, you know, like a uh, card size. And it's gonna be all shimmery, I'm so excited. And then the little details in the middle, I doodled them here just to make it like more handmade. But very clean, very tidy on the front. And then we have the back card, which is this with the Moonlight Library logo. This looks a bit weird in the camera but um just me thanking and saying how much i appreciate everything and i did these little corners ah uh, yeah and i'm i'm just so excited to actually see how that turns out to look like but basically this is gonna be my passion project well first of all i was saying that i was gonna eat healthy and then logan brought fresh croissants so but he also brought me flowers which was a very cute moment i hadn't had flowers in years but yeah i was saying i want my shop i really really want to sell crystals i want to share the goodness that the crystals brought into my life i really i always have a crystal nearby it makes me feel good um i don't care why or how it just it, it brings me joy and i really want to spread that make it like cute and this is going to be like passion projects i have some projects that i would love to do but like i still need to learn how to even do that <laughs> but i would love 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 to make a certain thing happen but yeah that's that i'm gonna go edit now it is nine o'clock and i just finished editing the video the first chapter challenge i really hope people watch it i spend so much time editing that. um and i spent so much time making that in general it's been for like over a month granted because i didn't do it constantly i also because i i vlogged in between that like in between filming the little clips and i didn't realize that in like the majority of them i'm wearing the same sweater so it legitimately looks like i just live in that one sweater <laughs> to be fair not far from the truth but you know <laughs> yikes <laughs> but yeah it's almost nine o'clock i'm gonna do the thumbnail i'm gonna try and upload it but it actually ended up being quite a long video and youtube has been so slow so i don't know whether to upload that today or if it would make like zero sense because it's a bit too late so people are not gonna watch it i don't know mm, don't know but might do that might might upload it but a bit of a bummer i thought i'm gonna have like a chill evening but i mean not that this is not like chill chill but you know it's still like actively using your brain <laughs> i do have to get up early in the morning tomorrow because i actually got an appointment to go to uh the joy um these are so beautiful but i've just googled because um zeus likes to nibble on plants he's already coming no not for you <laughs> um and all of them other than this daisy well i don't actually i couldn't find this one but um all of the other ones 
a poisonous to, oh, a toxic to cats. So we're gonna try and find a place where I can put this that he cannot find. Oh, I'm so sad. Place I can think of is the shelves, but this needs to go maybe on top. <laughs> That's so sad. Zeus has been such a loud boy this week. It's actually not great because <laughs> I have to work and I don't have time to like play with him and like constantly even though I played with him just now for like 10 minutes and he's just going around and shouting I don't know what it is maybe he's feeling a bit anxious or something but um we've actually downloaded a couple of games so I'm gonna put the games on and they played for it a little with it um a little bit so I'm gonna put it on and see if he plays with it because <laughs> mama needs to work so we can, she can buy you food and stuff. Hello, boy. It's very cute when they play with it, but it's like ridiculous because it's legitimately like having a kid up. Um, give it an iPad. <laughs> going to see Libra Dugo, which I like failed to mention <laughs> this week in general with Cody and Logan <laughs> As you've seen yesterday, hopefully, <laughs> um, I had Lee Bordugo event. It was actually really, really fun. And then me, um, Logan and Cody went to have actually a drink. This is like the third time in this year that I drank. So woke up a little bit. But <laughs> today, the whole day I've been working on my bullet journal. Literally the whole day I've just stopped now. But yeah, Lee Bordugo is really witty and like funny and seemed really honest. So I'm very excited actually to read Ninth House, even though Cody didn't like enjoy it as much. Um, so a little bit scared, <laughs> but um, excited. But yeah, because I was setting up the bullet journal, I was filming while I was doing that. Couldn't really film anything else for the vlog. But now I'm gonna continue reading. Now. 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 I'm gonna continue reading Kings of the Wild. So yeah, I am gonna ch start chapter 11 and I, I think because I was also reading the chapter, the first chapter challenge thing this week. Um, I think I haven't read anything else and it's Saturday so... <laughs> Some reading needs to be done. Um, and Logan, wait, <laughs> what are you wearing? I'm <laughs> but like on your shoulders. What are you reading? A book. Uh, why are you so difficult? <laughs> hey, Momo. Dark Dawn. Yay, Dark what page Dawn. are you on? You don't know yet, do you? Yeah, so listen to the first chapter in the audiobook. Are we gonna have yourselves a little reading time? Momo, are you joining? Are you gonna read, Momo? Yeah? Is it good? How far into you are you? in the middle? Yeah. 
Is it a kid's book? It's smut. Momo. Hello, it is Sunday, my dudes. Yesterday <laughs> was not a very successful reading day. Um, I did try though, I did try. Wait, how much did I read? I reckon I read maybe like 20 pages and I really wanted to, I really intended to, but there was, there's like a scene where they're going to like this meetup and there's a lot of new names and people and like kind of like history things coming in there and I got lazy and I started looking at my phone and I started watching videos on YouTube. And you can like, kind of see where this is going. So I think I'm like page 110 or something. <laughs> and today, again, I feel like I just don't have time to film because I'm filming other things. So it's like, ah, this vlog is probably, oh. Um, I'm gonna be filming the very end, hopefully, like I can't believe it's actually happening kind of thing, of my bullet journal. And then editing that baby up. I think we're having a D&D &D session as well. If not, I will be reading. If D&D &D is happening, well then. <laughs> okay, so I spent the whole day editing the vlog, not the vlog, sorry, I'm just so used to saying that, um, editing the bullet journal video. Bullet journal took forever, but I think it's worth it, I think it's worth it. And then the rest of the day I actually set up a Patreon page, so I've had that idea for the Patreon and uh, for many months now, and I absolutely love the idea of patreon but i was afraid that because of my health i wouldn't be able to like keep up with it i was afraid i was afraid of what people will say and everything after some of the encouragement from you guys and after sitting with the idea for a very long time i've decided to go ahead and create it and if it doesn't go well or if i find it somehow um weird or anything then obviously i can always just close it if you would like to support me and support my channel um, I, I wanted to create like a little separate community <laughs> for us, a little, like I'm assuming it's going to be very intimate and very um, closed off and small, I assume. <laughs> a little family place where we can get to know each other a bit more and I plan on putting... So currently, if I grow used to it and understand it better and see how things work, I probably will change the tiers up a little bit more. And um, But currently there's three of them and the feed is all exclusive to the Patreon. So basically I wanted the feed to be called um, the common room. Who is surprised? <laughs> um, and I want to put up some like like newsletter type of things like weekly and like behind the scenes and let the patreon sort of like influence what i put up or maybe request videos or decide which video makes it to the youtube channel <laughs> if you're not into patreon or anything like that there's no pressure whatsoever and nothing is gonna change on youtube um it's just it's separate thing i'm not gonna take anything from youtube and only put it there um things i will put there are things i wouldn't put on here um as in like it's all extra bonus kind of content so the first tier is one dollar and is to act to basically access everything on uh the common room um feed uh the second one and it's called common room friends the second one is flu network crew which is uh, mainly to have access to the monthly live streams where I talk about things that you guys decide that I should talk about or just like a general chat and also to be added on the very end screen where I would name you as my wonderful patron <laughs> um, and then the next one is um, 15 which is G's army like Dumbledore's army but G's army <laughs> and that is all of the above obviously and a shout out by name after the first time you join and also after the first time you join I will send you a postcard I will all I'm also hoping to put up some magical readathon sneak peeks exclusively only on there as well but yeah anyway I, I just I just set that up and then I started having panic attack because these things are like difficult to me like whatever there's money involved even it's funny because like I run my own like little shop it's even then I get really stressed out because it's it's very small and it's probably always gonna be small because of that. I just wanted it to be like a thing absolutely totally optional depends on your situation depends if you want to and like to support people or if you can you know all that kind of stuff I thought I wanted to put it in like a a fun way a fun like creative community way into over there and i think cody and massey are gonna come over for our weekly dnd thing so um hopefully i'll just chill with that i will be finishing this vlog tomorrow as per tradition <laughs> anyway i'll leave the link to the patreon down below please please do not feel any type of pressure to join at all um it's literally if you can if you want to
thank you i love you i'll speak to you tomorrow hi guys it is the next day i don't know why the screen is so it's monday evening i've just posted the bullet journal i'll hope hello <laughs> i hope you guys will like it i've just edited everything up to like this and what a wild week i actually forgot the majority of it honestly parts of it just seems like separate bits entirely which is really weird um god see snow look <gasps> cute but yeah i've started really rough and i just kind of forgot that how rough it was for the first like half of the week it's really bizarre because i think on the wednesday i was like a tiny bit anxious at the very very evening just before bed and then on thursday i was so depressive and it's just like it's been a roller coaster of things so sorry if this is a bit of a bummer of a vlog but also you know i don't want to filter it i want it to be as it is i want it to um be able to relate because i know it helps me so much if i can relate to someone that i'm watching so that i know oh this just happens and you know it just happens that i have a cat on my lap so i really cannot complain <laughs> and then the patreon thing happened and i am so incredibly grateful for all of you who have already joined i hope you guys enjoyed the wallpaper that i included in the weekly profit in irrationally profit <laughs> me calling the newsletter um weekly profit like the daily profit with the weekly profit um i feel i hope you guys most of you at least like harry potter because if not that might become a bit annoying i hope you do though i feel like you do i feel warm towards that so much i feel very happy to have that space i think tonight i'm gonna be working on a little um patreon um card so i want it to be a beautiful card for your beautiful names to appear yeah i don't know it's very humble i find it very humbling like you guys deciding like consciously deciding i'm hoping no one's forcing you to do this consciously deciding to watch my videos to spend time with me to chat with me to comment to like and now to join the patreon it's it's a lot um i am i am constantly humbled by it it's just you know it's it's a bit surreal so this time is the first video that's gonna have the, the the patreon card at the very end thank you so much for everyone who's joined no matter which tier if you joined and you don't find your name on the card it just means that you've joined after i've edited that video and you your name will appear on the next on that note though to shout out for people who joined the g's army which is absolutely mind-blowing so that is marlos i'm really sorry if i'm not pronouncing that correctly i know how it feels believe me people never pronounce mine right <laughs> so i'm so sorry but thank you so much for joining the g's army thank you thank you thank you we of course have pris our penguin expert of the group thank you pris so much thank you to katie for joining the g's army i really hope you will have a lot of fun in the patreon groups in general and thank you emily or uh, laserhawk that is one badass name <laughs> i don't know why it just sounds like some rock and roll band i'm here for it it's been a bit of a weird week so i don't even know i've seen lee bordigo she's been really nice so Friday was overall just a really nice day, whereas Thursday was like hell, <laughs> like it was horrible. It's just funny, but also it's a good thing to remind myself when I have the bad day or I have a bad week or I have a bad <laughs> year. I'm mainly talking about those more severe like single days that you don't know, like maybe tomorrow you'll wake up and you'll feel much better and you just have to cling to that you know so yeah what a what a weird emotional roller coaster of a week sorry i don't know why i'm sounding so weird i think i'm just overwhelmed in a good way <laughs> for those who do not want the reading part or don't like the reading part i uh, thank you so much for watching let me know how your week has been um i always read every single comment please talk to one each other like i really want this to be a community i really want you guys to look forward to chatting with one another i just I want us to be a family okay but moving on into the little reading part i actually gonna click on the previous video because i did a poll didn't i um of what cards you'd like me to use last time and i uh, next time i mean and i actually have not peaked even a little bit since last week i'm gonna oh god that that's still but i'm gonna click on this so we can all see together oh i need to vote oh my god i don't know i'll vote oracle but i don't know Ooh, elemental tarot one let me get set up and let's 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 do it sorry guys it's actually the next day but um zeus was sat on me so naturally i couldn't move but this is the dreams of gaia tarot card which is kind of like a traditional tarot but instead based on elemental vibes i suppose if you are wanting 
a deck that has a lot to interpret and a lot to work with this is great because the descriptions are actually very long and yeah there's a lot to unpack with this one so and let's get to it here we have the three cards and just you know the drill just pick one um, if you don't feel drawn particularly to any of these, just pick one at random, trust you good. So card number one, two, three, or A, B, C. Let's do number... Oh god. <laughs> Let's do number one. Oh, that is stunning. The artwork on this deck is just something else. Look how pretty. Even just simply from the illustrations, I feel like, what does it make you feel, you know? What do you see? What does it mean? Um, I feel like it's one of those decks that there's just so much to unpack. So this is actually an air card. So this little symbol here means air. The main theme of this card is individuation. The process of individuation leads to becoming oneself, to stepping away from the external forces that we believe define us, to becoming an independent being who recognizes and embraces their own uniqueness and individuality. At the core, this is a card that urges us to really look into ourselves and the face then and the persona that we wear in public and um the one that we are at home and merge them into something that is you merge them into something that you don't have to alternate regardless of where you are find the center of all those things adapt to that or embrace that rather than having to shift from one to another due to expectations of those around you be that society or family this is more of a Embrace your honest, true self to be accepted by few rather than live sort of like a lie or adhere to the expectations of those to be accepted by many. It's a process that will alter your perception of life in general because it's a big transformation, but it's one that I think is very necessary and I think it's very empowering. There's a lot of energy that I think is kind of wasted trying to get into a certain box that you think is... Um, expected of you and constantly try and fit into that even if sometimes it's not necessarily you at the core this is a challenging but a very positive card because after you or maybe you have already done so but after you do so you have that extra energy you have that extra time and to do something completely different and focus on something that you really care about and really enjoy it's a it's a growth card let's do the third one here just just to mix things up. Oh my god, we got quote. <laughs> I always joke that this card always looks like quote to me, you know, from the name of the wind. But this is of a fire element. So this is a card all about creativity and walking your own path. But this um, is a card about sacrifice that is required for you to do that. Um, I find it funny because I swear we always get, and I think it's always in the position of the third card, we always get that card that says, maybe you've been thinking about doing some sort of creative project or um, a business idea or something innovative and I swear it's always the third one but anyway it is again that kind of card um, but it does acknowledge that we usually walk the well we look at the previous people who walked a similar path and we kind of follow their direction but during that process you usually get a creative uh, idea that is just your own but because obviously it is creative and new and unknown, it requires a certain sacrifice because there is a lot of uncertainty whenever you start a project and you don't know financially, logistically, if everything is going to go okay. So this is the card that kind of represents that journey and the sacrifices and reminds us, obviously without any guarantees, but knowing that what you create will only equal what you have invested is a thing, you know? There's always risks involved whenever you have a new project, but this does symbolize a good time to try something innovative and also use your hands and mind to practice whatever you're trying to do. Great time to um, implement it as a habit, more of a just a casual hobby sometimes, you know? And then we have, then we have the third, well, the second card technically. Oh my God, these are very hard to pick up. <laughs> Sorry, I don't do reverse ones, by the way. Um, at least not yet. This is really cool. So we got another air card and this is three of air, like three of fire. We have this person studying. Oh, I cannot get over the, the art of this deck is just insanely beautiful. And unsurprisingly, this is about education, studying, uh, guide, guides and teachers, communication. This card is about the importance of education and studying and helping 
uh, to reach our highest potential and reminding that learning is a lifelong process so maybe you've been cramming a lot maybe there's exams it is a reminder that obviously try your hardest at the moment but it is not a process that ends when you sit an exam which might be a crap thing to hear if you're really looking forward to the exam ends which i know been there <laughs> but it does truly never stop even if you have some setbacks and someone deems your efforts not great remember that is not the end of the world that is not something that finishes here if you got a good grade or a bad grade that does not define you as a knowledgeable person and what level you can achieve it's a, a never-ending type of process education is so important just for the individual development and understanding of life and comprehending it this card also encourages people to be inquisitive ask people around you for help or ask for their point of view this is a good time to go to your elders maybe ask for your family history because there's a lot of knowledge that lays within that or and obviously knowledge is essential for us to then have the level of comprehension that we can actually know what those lessons mean if you got this card and you notice that for a while now you haven't really looked into anything that brings new knowledge into your life maybe sign up for a course maybe maybe watch some videos on something that interests you but, but yeah that is the cards very different because as i said this is a very different kind of deck i always feel like a very different energy from this deck and very different messages i actually really like you guys picking your own deck so let me know i will include that bit again where you can vote on what kind of deck you want to see next time so i'll include that here as well but that is everything let me know if any of these resonated with you and if you found them helpful um or if not <laughs> if it was complete miss this week because absolutely possible obviously thank you guys so much for watching thank you for those who joined the patreon again um i will never stop thanking so get used to it and stay awesome stay kind and i'll see you next time guys bye